All right. <clears throat> Hello, who is here? What's up, Jace? <laughs> so I'm going to give people a few minutes to kind of trickle in if they want to. Uh, so far, I think we've only got about eight people. So uh, now is the time to ask any sort of questions, if you have any, because once I get cooking, it gets a little bit hard to answer questions. So uh, yeah, go for it if you have any so far. Uh, today, I will say, um, I'll, show, I'll tell you what I'm cooking up. So it's another uh, recipe from my cookbook. Kayla's Spine and Bifida Life. Hello. How was my day today? It was good. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, I think I passed from the cooking up. Okay, so if y'all don't know, I have this cookbook. It's called Shit They'll Actually Cook. And they're just really simple recipes. It's not a very thick cookbook. As you can see, it's pretty small, but that was the point. Uh, I'm cooking up the, the lamb chops today. I know. Poor lammy. Don't go running yet. But, uh, so yeah, this is what I'm cooking up today. Which, it's like probably the easiest recipe that I have in this cookbook so far. Uh... Good evening, Jenna Graham. <laughs> How much? It's $13.99 on Amazon, or if you just want the digital version, it's $9.99 on my website. Um, I'll put the details in the comments here. So, digital version is $9.99 on... Uh, then, let me get the link for the Amazon... Sorry for the delay. Okay, so the Amazon link is thirteen ninety nine. So thirteen on Amazon, and the link is a little crazy and long. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can just click on those if you are interested. I'll probably put it in the description towards the end. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we got like forty five people here. I'm going to do questions for like the next 20, no, 20 minutes, two minutes, <laughs> uh, if you have any before I start cooking. Um, am I tired? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Hello, first time watching. Hello, awesome. Welcome to your first, or your first viewing of my cooking class. What exercise would be good for someone who has heart problems and can't do much without it acting up? Um, I'd probably just suggest walking. Um, even just getting out for a walk every day can be pretty beneficial, and it's a lot better than just sitting around uh, doing nothing. Of course, if you know it's okay with your doctor and all those things. Um, Grace Walker, hello. <laughs> Sorry if I butcher your guys' names. Um, Sue Sue Jane War, hello. <laughs> Ebony Harris, it's first time being awake for this. What time is it where you are as it's 1 a.m. in England? Wow, 1 a.m. It's only 6 p.m. in California over here. <laughs> BG26, hello. <laughs> All right, so Cynthia Sierra, it's your first time watching live. You always miss it and watch the day after. Well, welcome to the first live uh, video. It's a little bit more interactive uh, than watching it the day, the day later. So if you have any questions, this is the time to ask them. Wow, it's 2 a.m. 2 a.m. in Belgium. Angel Ashley. I miss California so much. Was born and raised there. I live in Florida. Oh, wow. I can't imagine moving to Florida from California. 
Um, Gamer Animations. Hey, what's up? Jose Molina, say my name. I think I just said your name. <laughs> Gift Sparks, you are in NYC. I want to visit NYC someday. I have not ever in my life. And it seems kind of crazy, um, but it seems like a cool city. How is my arm doing? It's doing pretty good. That usual. Jenna, you love that I interact with fans. It's, <laughs> of course. And fans sounds weird. I don't... <laughs> um, yeah, the community is basically uh, everything. And I like really like interacting. So, um, all right, I'm going to get started now. So, uh, for you that joined a little bit late, I'll show you what I'm cooking up. Uh, so, I'm cooking up lamb chops today from my cookbook uh, with kale and cauliflower rice and tomatoes. So I'm going to show you my ingredients to start and then how I'm going to start everything. And drink water. Okay, so first up, lamb chops. Uh, these are from Trader Joe's. The downside is that they are more expensive than like a shitty cut of beef because they are 100% grass-fed. I try to only eat grass-fed red meat uh, just because it has more omega-3s, doesn't have a bunch of like hormones, and they are fed grass and not GMO grains, that sort of fun stuff. All that hippie shit that you might have heard of uh, by now. Uh, so yeah, this is 1.28 pounds, and it cost me $14.71. So this is more <laughs> of like a treat meal. I, I normally stick with uh, turkey, ground turkey chicken. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper, but every once in a while you have to treat yourself for something a little bit more tastier, a little different, you gotta switch it up. So I'm just gonna sear these. I'm gonna be using my iron skillet. I'm gonna cook those in there. And I've got this kale, this organic kale from Trader Joe's, already chopped up. Like, I don't even need a knife today. That's how crazy this recipe is. Uh, cherry tomatoes. And then cauliflower rice, which is just cauliflower that's been processed, uh, chopped up into little bits and pieces to resemble rice. It's not actually rice. Uh, it just kind of has the same texture. So, uh, some people don't like lamb. Yeah, I know. Some people think that is gamey. Um, personally, I enjoy it. Uh, sometimes, like, grass-fed beef people uh, people don't like as much because they also think it's gamey but it's just the fact that it's been fed um, grass and not corn a lot of people are conditioned to like corn fed beef because that's mostly what people are used to these days unfortunately uh. you love beef more than lambs that's probably the general consensus. Not a lot of people eat lamb, but uh, today we are. So I'm going to start heating my pan. I'm using the iron skillet right here. Got to show you how I season this. So. I'm just going to put these on a separate plate. All right, 
So I'm going to start with salt. These are pretty thick, so you want to salt pretty generously. It looks like a lot, but it's not, I promise. Then I've got this Florida, Florida seasoned pepper. Uh, and it's from Penzies, and it's just black pepper, citric acid, lemon peel, garlic, orange peel, and onion. Same thing on the other side. Then, as you can see, my pan's starting to smoke a little. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this avocado oil in it. Just enough to go to the bottom. I'm with dogs. <laughs> uh, questions while this is cooking. Uh, so I cut off the fat. Uh, not on these ones. Uh, if it was like a lamb leg, yeah, I would. But uh, these chops, no. The cooking time, it's probably going to be about three to four minutes per side, they're pretty thick. Um, then I'm gonna cook them about medium rare, which is about 135 degrees. But I, when it comes to beef, I can usually tell just by touch. I don't need to use a thermometer. Um, hey, Victoria, thanks for joining. <laughs> are they juicy? <laughs> yes, they are juicy. <laughs> oh, thanks. You like my t-shirt? Don't hate the player. I got it from Target. Um, <laughs> there should be more than nine thumbs up, guys. I agree. I'm used to, like, thumbs downs, though, so... <laughs> Steph Johnson finally caught a live class. Awesome. Hey, Calvin. What's up? Nice cheese shirt. <laughs> it does look like cheese. <laughs> Ariana Franklin. Hi, what's up? Grayson. Hey, what's up? Uh, thanks. Emma Nemo. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for the, the smiley face, Jamie. Calvin, you're taking a break from a Harry Potter marathon. Thought you'd pop in. Well, thanks for taking a break from Harry Potter. I know that's hard. All right, so. Give you a look at what we got so far. So, still need some time. Letting it sear. Do you guys have any questions about anything so far? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
That looks good. Well, that's nice. I guess what I'll do is I'll probably weigh out my other ingredients while I'm waiting for my lamb chop. You don't have a kitchen scale, I highly recommend it. You can get out Amazon. I think this is like 12 bucks or something like that. And we have six ounces of this. That's what six ounces looks like. Oh, wait a minute. So, are you a trained chef? If so, where did you train? Uh, yes, I went to culinary school. Uh, I trained or I went to school at the Art Institute of Sacramento. How do you get the cauliflower rice not to taste like shit? Uh, <laughs> Season it properly, definitely. Salt, pepper. Uh, I like to put garlic in it, which I'll probably do this time. But yeah. Lots of Mitzi. Sorry, your guys' usernames are hard. Uh, you said my cookbook is, is great. Thank you. If you have it, I appreciate that. Um, have you ever made rice with corn? Yeah. It's definitely, definitely tasty. I should make spaghetti squash spaghetti. I thought about that. I almost did that today because I already have ground turkey and yeah, but I did. I don't know why. Maybe next time. Um, do I weigh out every veggie that I eat? Um, I mean, it depends. Uh, I've come to the point where I'm really good at eyeballing things, but I like to make sure I get enough. Uh, so I generally do about six ounces. All right, so take a look at the lamb chops so far. Getting there, getting there. Getting a nice crust on that side. Almost ready to flip. Why am I not drinking wine tonight? I have a little bit right over there, but I'm actually really, I feel really dehydrated, so I'm just trying to drink water. Have you ever done drugs? No. Am I using seasonings? Um, for the lamb, just salt and pepper today. Pretty simple. Lamb has a lot of natural flavor. It does taste really good with garlic and rosemary, but uh, those are things that I do not have on hand today. Um, <laughs> Teresa Richardson. Have you ever considered creating your own brand, own brand of cookware? Uh, that would be awesome. I, I think I've thought about creating my own brand of seasonings uh, just because I find that more interesting. But uh, cookware, I uh, never know, maybe. <laughs> you have these same glasses. Um, I'm not sure these are from Costco, maybe. <laughs> Okay, so this is ready to flip. Mm. 
I need to turn the fan on. <laughs> Sorry if you guys can't hear me. Now the fan is on. You like my hair. Thank you. <laughs> Angela Hoskins. What's your best dish and size? Uh, man, that's a hard one. I've cooked a lot of different types of dishes before. Luke Bang Sisters. Hey, Cody, just found your channel. Oh, awesome. Love from Australia. Man. Well, hello. Welcome. <laughs> that is a long way away. My lamb came from Australia, so thanks for the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> People mostly see the rack of lambs, so those ones of lamb are different. Uh, yeah, I mean, rack of lamb is delicious. Um, my favorite way to cook rack of lamb is to sear it first and then roast it in the oven, rosemary and garlic, and then like a puree. Specifically, I really love parsnip puree uh, with lamb or mashed potatoes, um, any sort of roasted vegetable. Step. I'm not feeling well tonight, so I'm enjoying the cooking class in the back. Oh, well, that sounds nice. <laughs> what is my full name? My full name is Cody Luke Harmon. Would I consider having my own restaurant someday? Uh, probably not, just because it's very, very stressful. Um, the failure rate for restaurants is incredibly high. Uh, so that'd be a big fat, maybe. Uh, Cynthia Sierra, I don't like cooking any tips on how to make it more enjoyable. Uh, make it simple, honestly. That's basically why I created the cookbook, uh, just because it's very quick, simple, straightforward. I feel like a lot of cookbooks uh, require a lot of steps, a lot of ingredients, and people just get overwhelmed by it and just don't want to cook at all. Um, so that's why I made the cookbook that I did. Do you use a chain mail scrubber on your cast iron? Um, no, I use like, I'll just scrape it with a spatula and like, while it's still hot, I'll put it under the water so it kind of degreases it. Right, 
随意编。Red meat. You can usually tell on the goodness just by touching them. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's better than sticking a thermometer in there and letting the juices flow out. I'll show you how I clean the cast iron while I'm at it. So it's really hot right now. I'm gonna put it in the water. So, when you have a really hot pan and you put it under cold water, it kind of deglazes it. Uh, it takes a lot of the scum off of it, like so. And then I'll just get a paper towel. A little bit of oil. And then kind of wipe it out. And just doing that works pretty well. <sighs> okay, sorry, I'm just reading some of your questions real quick, see if I can answer some. Uh, All right, so I'm gonna move on to making the cauliflower rice. So my pan, it's already pretty hot, but I'm gonna put it on about medium high. Put in a little bit more avocado oil, just enough to kinda give it a little coating on the bottom. Shouldn't take too long to heat up. It's already pretty hot, so I'm gonna put this in now. A little bit of salt. Some more pepper. Oh. Out of this pepper, that's a sad so. I think he's probably afraid of the smoke. <laughs> or sometimes, like, the smell of lamb makes dogs go a little nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Usually they just want to eat it. But... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Do you know what's the matter? Somehow the puppy is scared. <laughs> Um, do I ever like to cook vegan dishes? Personally, uh, not for me. They don't, um, I, I was vegetarian, vegan for a good five years. Uh, so now I've kind of transitioned out of that. And now I just like to make sure I center my meals with a good amount of protein, um, a lot of vegetables, that sort of thing. Um, So, cauliflower rice, just continuing to cook up.
the best way to test if something is done or it's seasoned properly is by tasting it. So I highly, highly recommend you taste your food as you go. Make sure it doesn't burn your mouth first. Good on the salt. Needs a little bit more time to cook though. Uh, thanks for the, the cookbook, love. I appreciate it. <laughs> I super appreciate everyone who's bought the book so far and tried stuff out. Um, it really is supposed to be as simple as possible because ultimately I just want people to cook. Um, so if it gets people cooking, then mission accomplished. <laughs> See the puppy. Juno, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Say hello. Hi. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to let the puppy say hello. All right, so all flour rice is done. <laughs> That's what it looks like down there. Once again, just gonna run this hot pan under the water. Now it's clean. I'm gonna get heat up, heated up again for the tomatoes and kale. Kales are gonna, uh, tomatoes are gonna go in first because it's gonna take longer to cook. Oil, once again, just enough to coat the pan. Throw in about a handful of tomatoes or two, depending on how big your hands are. These start to kind of crack and open up a little bit. I'm going to add in the kale. Kale takes like two seconds to cook because it's very thin. Um, you just want to cook it to wilt it up, basically. Uh, where's Carly? She's right here. Yep. <laughs> what do you know? What? Gino is just like almost full grown now. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
Do I go back and read these posts? Um, sometimes. <laughs> Tomatoes are starting to get some color on them. You can see that. Haven't quite opened up yet though. Oh, one has. Once the skin splits, that's when I like to add in the tail. They're popping open a little bit. Gonna add in the tail now. The tail cooks down a lot, kind of like in the same groove of spinach where it's a lot of water. So it might look like a lot, but it's not. Add a little bit of salt to the kale. Just a little bit. Put that down. Taste it for seasoning if you want. That's good. Any questions so far? Do I prefer gas or electric stove? I prefer gas. It's easier to control. Unfortunately, I've been gifted electric at this place. As you can see, hopefully, uh, the kale has wilted. That's basically the goal. Don't need to overdo it. So I'm just going to put that on my plate. lamb chops so these are pretty small so I'm gonna probably do two of these the end yay <laughs> So that's what the 
finished product looks like kind of like the picture. I don't know. Um, Cynthia Sierra, your food always looks delicious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the, the cookbook recommendation. I super appreciate it. Does anyone have any questions specific to this dish or anything before I wrap this up? and uh, eat my dinner. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> what about carbs? No carbs in this meal. Um, there, I mean, vegetables are carbs. So there are slight carbs, but it is a low carb meal, I guess you could say. There's not a ton of carbs in the cauliflower rice specifically. Um, but with every vegetable, there is carbs in it, carbs in it. Um, the total carbs in this dish, I'll tell you, it's not very much. There's only 25 grams of carbs in this meal. So, um, if you are looking for a low carb dish, this would be a good idea. If you're not, you can use real rice, uh, or you could be like me and eat your carbs for dessert, uh, which I usually make like a dessert out of protein powder and uh, that sort of thing that I've showed before. What do you feel about filet red meat? I'm not sure I understand that question. Your mom is in her 50s and having trouble losing weight. Any suggestions? Uh, what is she doing currently to try to lose weight? What's her current diet like? What is her exercise regimen like? That sort of thing. What's for dessert? Uh, I make like a, kind of like a fudge with my protein powder and some like powdered peanut butter. <laughs> my dog is weird. What are you doing? You see, I cook mostly chicken and turkey. What's your opinion on red meat? Um, well, this is red meat. So my opinion is that if you can get it grass-fed, that is ideal. I tend to only eat grass-fed uh, red meat, which is more expensive, so that's why I don't eat it as often. Um, this is grass-fed lamb. <laughs> Squeeze Carly for you. She has a big fan in Arizona. Will do. Do I like sous vide? Uh, I do. I don't have anything to sous vide here, but it is a pretty cool way of cooking for sure. I, I might at one point save up to buy something to do that sort of cooking. Thanks everyone for like the positive vibes and comments. I super appreciate it. All right, so two more minutes here. I'm gonna wrap this up so I can clean my kitchen and then get on with the evening. Do you, does anyone have any suggestions for what to cook next time? I usually do these about every two weeks or so. Okay, so for now, I'll tell you when the next cooking class is going to be. I gotta look up two weeks from now. 
Twitch. Okay, so today is the third. So the next class will be to do the seventeenth. Do I have any crock pot yet recipes? Yes, I do. I have one in my cookbook. It's like the chicken, salsa chicken recipe. I'm probably going to do more crock pot recipes as the fall comes on because the crock pot is awesome for stews and stuff like that. Sama Sia Skipperable. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Take your turkey and make it cheap and easy. Yes, for sure. Uh, Angela Hoskins. How about a session on good meals for after workouts? Yeah, that's a good, definitely a good idea. Steph. Yes, I did get your email. I owe you one. <laughs> um, when it comes to post workout meals, um, the best thing to eat, if you can, is a meal that is high in protein and carbs. That way it's easier for your body to digest and restore your glucose stores and stuff like that. And then protein, of course, to help repair the muscles that you tore down working out. Quick spill and fudge. Uh, I'll just show you. That's right here. Okay. So, this is basically what I have for dessert each day. It's just protein powder and uh, powdered peanut butter mixed together. And water. Super simple, but it, it helps you get in. It's only 210 calories, but it is 30 grams of protein. 18 grams of carbs, and 3.5 grams of fat. So it's really good for a small, uh, something sweet after dinner if you're craving it, and then also a good way to get your protein in uh, if you need some more protein in your diet. Sess is life. You need Cody in my I'm right here. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up now so I can eat my food before it gets cold. Um, you thought about powdered peanut butter. Is it as good as regular? Uh, it's a little bit different. It's lower in fat, so you're not gonna get that the same mouthfeel, uh, but I, it's a really good substitute. It's like half the calories for a good amount of flavor. So I recommend it if you're on a weight loss journey or if you just like it a lot. <laughs> I don't tend to keep nut butter, like the full fat kind in my house, because I can just like eat gobs of it. All right. S. Houston. <laughs> All right. Well, definitely email me soon. Tyrell, thanks for joining. You enjoy your night as well. Thank you, everyone, for joining. AJ, thanks for joining again. I appreciate you all. And I will see you in a couple weeks. Peace out.